Ukrainian serviceman Ilya Lysenko gives his interview near the ambulances which have been operating on the front line in the Donbass since the start of the war. They still have bullet marks on them. Since the first battles, the Ukrainian military was in dire need of medics to provide first aid and transport the wounded to the safe zone or hospitals, as well as of equipment which would be able to withstand daily challenges. These cars were morally obsolete. They've gone through a lot, and the army wasn't able to support, repair them, and force them to work. It was then, in 2014, that volunteers came to help the combat medics. Using their own or volunteer cars, they headed to the front line. Many came up with their own logistics for helping the wounded. Often, civilian crews operated faster than the military. The task was to get away from the chaos and poorly managed evacuation, to establish an evacuation system which would be predictable and correct under a one-man command. Ilya created an entire complex of medical assistance on the front line. Last year, he signed a contract with the Ukrainian Armed Forces and continued forming the evacuation system. An experimental unit specializing in evacuation was established. It is planned to create a separate rescue center, which will operate both on and behind the front line. We have people who need assistance. We have the tools for it and the vehicles for transportation. What we need is a balanced system to manage all of it. Now, combat brigades have medical companies with the necessary equipment. Old Soviet vehicles were replaced by new Ukrainian ones, and medical brigades started keeping watch on evacuation routes. Along the route from the front line, there is a spot where people can receive high-quality assistance, including surgery, with further transportation to a field hospital or stationary hospital. So a lot has changed. There are still a lot of changes to be made, says Ilya. Now, the evacuation system is in need of professional drivers and paramedics who are ready to put their knowledge and experience to use. Reported by Ihor Medilyan for UATV.